On the coast of Portugal, in the small town of Cascais, there is a group of innovators, scientists, and ocean lovers who are working to restore Portugal's lost kelp forests. One of the world's most powerful ecosystems for boosting biodiversity, regulating global climate, and supporting local fishing economies. Sea Trees is on a mission to reforest coastal ecosystems all around the world by supporting and collaborating with like-minded individuals to directly regenerate critical kelp forest ecosystems that not only support human life and thousands of marine species locally in Portugal, but are vital to the health of the entire planet. In the last 50 years, half the world's kelp forests are declining or have been lost entirely due to marine heat waves, pollution, and overdevelopment. Due to the scale of the problem, the team at Sea Forester partnered with the Mayor Center at Politecnico de Leria and have focused their energy on a scalable solution to regrowing wild kelp forests called green gravel, otherwise known as seeded stones. Jan Verbeek, the scientific manager at Sea Forester, has been working tirelessly with the rest of the team to develop and implement a rapid and efficient reforestation platform. Sea Forester's main and only mission really is to plant more kelp in the ocean for all the benefits that provides. So we really started small and here in Portugal with a lot of research trials at the beginning, testing out what are really the techniques that are most efficient to restore kelps, but at the same time, what is the most scalable technique? Because we're losing kelps at such a massive scale, we need a technique that's actually capable of managing to counteract that loss. Just as reforestation efforts on land rely on having robust seedling nurseries, kelp forests need the same, which is why Sea Forester is building mobile kelp nurseries inside of shipping containers, which can be transported anywhere they are needed. Using the green gravel technique, baby kelp can be grown on stones in a controlled lab setting, then outplanted into the damaged ecosystem when they are mature enough to survive, which dramatically increases the survival rate professional surfer, climate activist, and Sea Trees ambassador Miguel Blanco has spent much of his life surfing these coastlines where kelp forest once thrived. He has truly fallen in love with the waves, the people, and the community he calls home. for us as a surfer is that we spend so much time in the water. It should be a natural thing for us to protect what we love and what we care about. Now we push on one side, the economy goes up, but then we gotta push on the preservation, consciousness, awareness, as well on the other side. Miguel recently traveled to meet Jan and the team at the Sea Forester Laboratories to learn more about their techniques and join them on one of their first kelp planting deployments. Alvaro Sanchez Gallego, the nursery manager and seasoned marine biologist, has been leading the deployment and monitoring the restoration areas throughout the region. Historicamente, esta área tenía mucha vida, mucho kelp, muchos peces, mucha, mucha vida marina. Y recientemente, ya sea ya por diferentes causas, por el crecimiento global, contaminaciones, sobrepesca, los kelp dejaron de aparecer aquí en esta costa. Y por eso hallamos que una, un buen punto de, de partida para comenzar a reforestar aquí en la costa de Cascais. Forests both above and below water, store carbon and provide habitat for thousands of species. But underwater kelp forests do it in a special way that gives them a superpower over land-based forest. Kelps also have that potential to have a lot of their biomass be transported to the deep sea and there it can be stored for hundreds of thousands of years. And if you imagine a kelp forest being lost at a coast, that carbon is safe in the deep sea. If a forest on land burns, and we just had that issue a few days ago in Cascais, that carbon is just released into the atmosphere. Sea forest is really going to be there 
as the organization to really kickstart those restoration programs in coastal communities, but then in the future it's really also for us to hand it over to the communities so they can be the guardians of their own blue front yards. In the same way that we maintain and restore nature on land, a healthy and well-maintained blue front yard provides substantial benefits to all communities. Sea Trees is proud to collaborate with all of our partners in Portugal to help catalyze new solutions for regenerating healthy oceans and to pass the tools to local communities so they can independently manage their own restoration projects. Portugal, home to some of the biggest waves in the world. Putting us in perspective, we can't just chase waves. We have to take care for what we love the most. It's beautiful to put life back in the water. The ocean, it gives us so much. <laughs> <laughs>